Bobby Joe, you take rooms five, six, and seven. Thank you, Mom. And Billy Joe, you take. What's the sheet and a pillowcase missing? Uh oh. Uh oh, what? Well, I saw Uncle Joe heading for the barn with what could have been a sheet and a pillowcase. <laughs> oh, how thoughtful. He's planning to sleep out there to make more room for paying guests. <laughs> yeah, but I can't let him do that. Well, but, Mama, he, he was carrying a bucket of paint and a brush now, and he said something about making a banner. <laughs> oh, no, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He did. Well, kid, what do you think? I think it's ruined. Wait, did I misspell something? Uncle Joe, it's the sheet that's ruined. Billy, you're a sweet girl, but you're too young to understand the value of advertising. Well, in this case, so am I. Uncle Joe, every year during the horseshoe tournament week, we turn people away. What do we need with advertising? Women and business. Why should I try to explain? There's a cannonball. I've got to get down there. I gotta let Floyd know I matched him with Pixley Fast in the first round. Pixley Fast? I'll be out before the tournament gets started. Nobody's ever beat Pixley Fast pitching horseshoes. And nobody ever will. I just thought I'd make it quick and merciful for you, Floyd. You want a default right now? No, sir. Floyd is not a quitter. Are you, Floyd? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, the least you could do would be to put up a good fight. No, I couldn't beat him fighting either. Well, let's go practice. Fighting or pitching horseshoes? Pitching horseshoes, you mallet head. You go on, I got a banner to put up. Beautiful. Now, that was very good, Floyd. Uh, uh, Uncle Joe, bring the uh, shoes back, please. I'll be right there, Kate. No, you, you got better uh, every time you pitched. <laughs> Didn't he, girls? Oh, yes, beautiful. You got a leaner, too. Yeah, but leaning against a tree don't count. <laughs> oh, you're going to be just fine in the tournament, Floyd, because you're a good all-round athlete. And when it comes to pitching horseshoes... Floyd, you're pathetic. <laughs> oh, Uncle Joey was nervous because you have put him against Pixley Fats first thing. Well, somebody has to be skunk. Might as well be Floyd. Oh, come on, Joe. Start somebody else against Pixley Fats. But my chart's all made out. You can change it. It's clear up in my room. But a little walk will do you good. OK. I'm putting you against Pixley Fats. Joe, you don't want to make that long walk. No, Joe, please. Come on, come on. Mother. Yes, dear. Does the horseshoe tournament allow women? Well, it isn't customary, but I guess it could. This isn't exactly a national tournament. Why? Well, Bobby and I think Betty ought to enter. Betty? Billy, I'm not good enough to play against men. Well, the way you throw ringers, why, you could play against anybody. Ringers, this little peanut? Just watch her, Mom. She's terrific. Show her, Betty. I'll probably miss it a mile. <laughs> Perfect ringer. She does it every time. I seem to have a kind of talent for it, Mom. Once more. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Oh, three or four years, I guess. Yeah, but you never said anything. I always thought horseshoes was just for men. And Bobby and I just happened to see her. Once more. <laughs> Pixley Fats, watch out. Kate, where's Betty Jo? She's upstairs. What do you want with her? I'm going to bend her over my knee and whomp her with a hairbrush. What for? She wrote her name on my tournament sheet. No, she didn't. Well, somebody did, and they're going to get whomped. Well, you go fetch your hairbrush, and I'll meet you in the basement. I never did like getting whomped in public. Kate, 
You put Betty's name on here? Yes, I did. She's entering the tournament. A teenage girl? Well, that'll be an insult to every man in the tournament, especially Pixley Fats. He won't be insulted when he sees her play. Mother? Yes, what is it? There's another bed sheet missing. <laughs> Just a minute, Kate. You ought to be proud. Why, right now, everyone that's watching the Hooterville Cannonball go by is reading your sheet. <laughs> Mr. Pratt, who's running the train? We had to let Floyd take over. I'm so nervous, my hand was trembling at the throttle. How come? I'm playing Pixley Fats in the opening round of the tournament tomorrow. Gee. What an honor to play horseshoes against Pixley Fats. Boy, you just bought yourself an honor. Huh? You're starting against Pixley Fats instead of me. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Do you think you let me sit with him for a minute? Oh, no, 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 no. That's why he buys those two seats and curtains them off. He doesn't want anybody jostling his pitching arm. Do you know him very well? Son, nobody knows Pixley Fats. You might call him a man of mystery. Hey, we're coming into Shady Rest. Oh, I hope Floyd makes a smooth stop. Right this way, gents. Right this way. Welcome to the Shady Rest Hotel, scene of the world's greatest horseshoe tournament, where you can see the one and only Pixley Fats in action against all comers. Eat our delicious food, sleep in our soft beds, Shady Rest Hotel. Right up the path there, gents. Right up the path. Eat our delicious food, sleep in our soft beds. Hello, Shady Bill. Rest. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Mr. Carson. Hello, Irby. Did Pixley Fats have a comfortable ride? Smooth as glass, Joe. Can I take his bag up to the hotel, Mr. Carson? Oh, no, no. You go on up. Nobody but me's carried his bag for the last nine years. <laughs> He's here! Pixley Fats in person! He's right behind us! He's here! Horseshoes, approved for balance by the U.S. Bureau of Standards. <laughs> oh, gee. Why'd he bring that trophy? That's the tournament trophy. He's got to bring it back every year so he can win it again and take it away. Nice to see you again. <laughs> never uses his right hand for anything but pitching horseshoes. He's learned to do everything with his left hand. <laughs> Room 12. Same as the last eight years. Mm -mm, Betty Jo, you're blocking traffic. Oh, excuse me. That sure is a handsome trophy. I think she's planning to win it away from you. Not planning. Just hoping. How ridiculous can you get? Shady Rest Hotel Horseshoe Tournament. Now, before we get into the first round, I'd like to call your attention to these beautiful good luck charms on sale for only 50 cents. Aww. Souvenirs for wives and kitties. Get the tournament started, Joe. Now, hold your horses, Charlie. Or maybe I should say, hold your horseshoes. Oh! <laughs> 
You should say who plays who in the first match. And forget trying to sell something you ain't had one customer for in eight years. Oh, I wasn't trying to sell. I just wanted you to know they were available. Now, the first match will be played by Pixley Fats. And his worthy opponent will be Herbie Bates. 10,000 to one on Pixley Fats. 10,000 to one what? Anything. <laughs> it's horseshoe! <laughs> can do better than that. Mom's fine of a whole new batch. Doing a tournament, he's very light. <laughs> well, I'll go see if the new batch is ready. <laughs> How's it going in there? Need more chicken. Oh, we're right here, honey. Just hold the platter. Mom? Yes, dear. Did anyone mention that I won my first round match? Oh, yes, someone did, and I meant to congratulate you, and then I got busy fixing supper, and I forgot. Okay, honey, serve it up. I beat Toby Gates 52 to 3. Good. Beginner's luck. <laughs> With a score like that? When she loses in round two, we don't want to see no tears, do we, Kate? How many pies are you cutting, dear? Six, Mom. Oh, no, no, I think seven. Oh. Kate, you didn't answer my question. <laughs> what was it? Uh, I ask you, uh, when Betty Joe loses in round two, we don't want to see no tears, do we? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Betty Joe, would you start washing up the pots and pans for me? Because nobody likes a sore loser. <laughs> Uncle Joe, would you please tell me what you're doing in the kitchen? I'm trying to teach your youngest daughter how to be a good sport. Well, could you teach her later? before the good sports in the dining room stamp their feet and bang their forks and knives for quicker service. Kate, are you implying you want me to leave? Now that you mention it, yes. OK. I can take a hint. <laughs> Don't go empty-handed. <laughs> Pixley Fats, 51! Pixley Fats is now in the final! Hi, Kate, what brings you down here? Oh, my youngest daughter. She told her sisters and me that she made the semifinals, so we decided to watch her play. Oh. Any objections? No. Matter of fact, I wondered why you hadn't come down before. I've been busy. Uncle Joe, how did Betty Joe ever get into the semifinals? We explained that to you two days ago. Beginner's luck. <laughs> the second semifinal match will be Betty Joe Bradley versus Charlie Pratt. Betty Joe, I'm going to forget that you're just like a daughter to me, and I'm going to do my very best to beat you. And I want you to promise to do the same, OK? OK. Who goes first? Charlie. Age before beauty. <laughs>
wasn't meant for your very best to be that good. <laughs> Two for Charlie, and six for my beautiful and talented relative, Miss Betty Jo Bradley. She's sensational. <laughs> Kirby Bates. Hi, Billy Joe. Ah, don't you look pretty. Thanks. Listen, you play Pixley Fats. Do you have any tips on how Betty Joe can beat him in the finals? Yep. Drop her first horseshoe on his foot and hope he loses his temper and quits. Uh huh. Oh, Billy Joe. If I had any tips on how to beat Pixley Fats, would I have lost to him 51 to 0? You're right. I'm sorry I bothered you. Oh, any time. Billy Joe, why don't you and me go on a little moonlight stroll? I can't. Mother told me to mind the desk. Darn it. I could have waited ten more days. Ten more days? Shave! <laughs> well, the truth of the matter is, athletics is in the girl's blood. You see, my brother Harold, that's the one who rode into the swamp and never came back. He had a spring tryout with the Philadelphia Phillies. What's baseball got to do with horseshoes? Well, Harold was a pitcher, and Betty Jo inherited Harold's right arm. How'd they get it out of the swamp? <laughs> Floyd, why don't you stop trying to make jokes and put your money where your mouth is? You want to bet on Betty Jo against Pixley Fats? Any amount you want to name. Okay, you're on for 75 cents. Make it 50. <laughs> it's a bet. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't help with the dishes, but Uncle Joe ordered me straight to bed. Oh, yes, I know. Are you feeling nervous about tomorrow? A little. Yeah, oh, it's only natural. Pixie Fat's probably nervous, too. I wonder if I can beat him. Yes, so do I. I kind of wonder something else, too. What? I wonder what'll happen to him if you do. What do you mean? Well, Pixley Fats is a peculiar sort of person. And how? Why doesn't he ever talk? He does talk. At the end of every tournament, he says to his losing opponent, you pitch a good game of horseshoes. <laughs> his, his whole life is pitching horseshoes. In a way, that's kind of sad. Yeah, I agree. And com compared to somebody like, uh, well, like you. You have a family and friends, school and hobbies, and pretty soon, the most wonderful thing that can happen to a woman in her life, husband and children. Oh, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't say that Pixley Fats is unique. Oh, there are a lot of one-track people. They can be doctors or lawyers or businessmen, anything. They have one big talent and one big pride in it. But there's just one trouble. What? Well, if a person like that fails, even once, everything just falls apart. Unless, in addition to their talent, they have love. Because the best and the only thing in life that can help a proud person face failure is love. Mom? Hmm? Are you telling me to... Honey, I'm not telling you anything. I just came up here to kiss you goodnight. Fifty-one to fifty-one. 
Quit telling me the score, Herbie. I can count, too. <laughs> First time in my life I ever seen him miss. If Betty Jo gets a ringer, it's her match. Three. Betty Joe Bradley, 51. The winner and tournament champion for the ninth consecutive year, Pixely Fats. Give me my 50 cents. Oh, take it easy, with you? I gotta record the score first. Everybody up to the hotel for the presentation of the trophy and lemonade. Hey. Yes. We'll get him next year. Mr. Bats, your horseshoe. Girls, would you go on up and set out the glasses? Give me my 50 cents. Uncle Joe, <laughs> did you bet on me? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, too. <laughs> Congratulations on a nice try. You pitch a good game of horseshoes. Thank you. So do you. Goodbye, <laughs> Mr. Fat. Betty Jo, you know what? You won. You won't get any trophy, but inside where it counts, you won. What's the matter, Mother? I think I'll buy one of these souvenirs so that Uncle Joe will get his 50 cents back. <laughs> I was wrong. You do get a trophy after all. Remind me to uh, hide Uncle Joe's Indian after dinner, huh? <laughs>